Good morning. So the problem we're having here in Florida is repeatedly people refusing thermal conversion. You refuse thermal conversion, it punts 90% of the thermal football to the oceans. Then you have increased available ocean energies that cause the storms to get worse. Additionally, you're causing superheating from lack of the material to not just on a thermal component, to exchange carbon dioxide for oxygen. So now you're creating a lens where we're getting more greenhousing, which is an additional thermal increase above and beyond the thermal conversion that's direct from the trade of radiation, solar radiation. There was one plant in this planet that can do what's necessary to offset the very variations of solar intensity, grass, period. It's situated in the right place. It has the right physical properties. It has the right chemical properties. It has the reflexive, reflexive, reflexive uh, growth rate that's necessary for an ever-changing degree of solar intensity. It's the only plant that matters for human survival. Anybody who's telling you that we have to do reforestation before we can correct our, our ecologies and our environment is as dumb as somebody who believes that the earth is flat or that believes that every snake, if you see a snake, kill a snake. It's time to go past the mental construct that grass is a nuisance to be abated. Start learning about the lawns, start learning about moisture latching so that you don't have high humidity, start learning about the benefits of micro canopy, start thinking that the soil is the ultimate goal of protection. What is closest to the soil to give protection? What has a, a shade pattern that will never move away from the soil that you're trying to protect? Not a tree, its shade might be over here tomorrow or, or later today. This shade might be over here in the morning. In the meantime, that soil is being killed. Now that soil can't retain 3,000 times more moisture and give off evaporation in a narrower window of time so that you get regular rainfall. And when you get regular rainfall, now the intensity of your storms is less because there's less available energy stored that haven't been released. Everywhere I go, almost three times a day on my customers' list i get a request for lower mowing they they want to have their lawn mowed lower under the pre construct that they think then it won't grow as fast well here's the problem the 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 ecologies are emerging from a drought condition and from dormancy from the season and new heat is here rain is here mother nature says look let's let's take care of that situation with some more cellulose some more canopy um to protect from the heat now if i was had an injury and the band-aid was placed there the equivalent of people mowing low to try to decrease growth rate would be like ripping the band-aid off every five minutes scratching the scab and rubbing dirt into the wound how do you think that that's going to be healthy it's not if you try to downregulate growth, if you cut below the chlorophyll where it's browning, where now it has to use stored starches to recover its chlorophyll so that it can finally do some th thermal conversion, what do you think's happening during that day, two days, that that lawn's sick after you mowed it? It's not converting thermally. So now you're punting that excess thermal increase to the, the oceans and streams. And, and and you think that has no effect on the reason that the manatees can't carry enough fat to go through the winter? They have to get close to a... Uh, because they can't carry fat in a superheated summertime uh, uh, waterways and survive. But then they're too lean to survive through the winter. What do you think is all that? You know, then you get these storms that are dumping tons of rain. So now you're changing the salinity so whales can't dive effectively. Would it be like you and I not knowing day to day what whether or not there is gravity or how much gravity there's going to be when we walk out the door? How long do you think we're going to last with that scenario when there's ever-changing gravity, which buoyancy is the same for whales? At some point, they don't know whether to, uh, what to do, and they beach themselves. 
you got swordfish swimming in circles you got populations of fisheries declining because of thermal increase that you could have took in your lawns but you didn't and also thermal increase because when you mow that low silting happens at the estuaries and it causes superheated conditions in certain places there goes the food supply for the manatee they depend upon seagrasses that grow in shallower waters but not that much so where it's just too much exposed this stuff is ridiculously obvious um uh, but frustratingly vacant from the thought processes of most people and it's like ask yourself what are you really asking if you're asking that grass to not grow what is the yen and the yang what's the component that's that it works in partnership with the sun as it has solar flares that fluctuate intensity as it has varying changes in the atmospheric conditions that would allow more or less radiation through do you think it's trees no their resource chain comes from a lot lower tapped way lower their growth rate is pretty much steady the only component that was given to us to offset solar radiation is the grasses and in historically the balance between micro canopy structures and macro canopy structures was was preserved by fire now we have a chance to do it in a better way and what I'm seeing is it's more proof that man was supposed to be here in abundance because the regularity of our cutting also contributes to the fertility of the soil, which also contributes to the can micro canopy structures that protect the soil, which also latch moisture so it can reassimilate to the aquifer without going back in the atmosphere's excess humidity. Um, it, it's just... Uh, it, unbelievable i'm not saying there's no place for macro canopy structures if you use them in the right balance it can be a, a very very good ecology that could be structured from that um one issue would be though then that plant is actually structured with lower uh, signaling for chlorophyll so if the tree ever was lost you gotta have to watch for your lawn to die because it solarizes itself in essence it has upregulated its uh chlorophyll levels for that light condition if that light condition changes now it may be where it can't stop itself from suicide i've seen it countless times where i parked a car beautiful green grass when i moved it and then next day dying dying and then two years later even no grass there it killed itself it killed itself so effectively that uh it it takes an extraordinary amount of time to recover so anyway um this, this frustrating issue of people refusing thermal conversion and then complaining about it being too hot, and too humid, too many storms, our food supplies corrupted, you know, insurance costs too high. Um, you're hypocrites. They got a tag that says save the manatees and asking for a low cut. You're a hypocrite. You don't know what the hell to care for because you don't know how to care for anything. You don't know what the needs of anything are. I even don't, I'm not saying I'm smarter than you, but the calculations of the consequence chain going forward after you've affected, negatively affected an ecology are incalculable of this dependent upon this, upon this, don't even try. Instead, just comport yourself where you're cl mowing close to the desired genetic expression of, of the plant material that you're mowing at the flower, at the, at the very top of the canopy to give cellulose back to the soil that then supports the plant. And don't mess with stuff that you don't understand. But if you think that you can come in here and man source your way out of a bad circumstance, you're wrong. That's basically hydroponics. What we want is a natural ecology of the stomach, the soil of the lawn, being healthy still so it has a microbial diversity moisture retention coolness everything to support that plant from under up and if there's a little drought don't water that let it have hysteresis or whatever you call it where low level it'll drive deeper roots it'll it'll weed out bad uh components just like a fast for your body all right i gotta go